Diaries are worth their weight in gold when they tell us about the living and social conditions of the long dead and the long gone. Now, with the popularity of Anne Lister's diaries being serialised on BBC television under Gentleman Jack, I thought I'd just bring my attention to another diarist who I absolutely adore. The diary of Nathaniel Bryson, a 19-year-old coal clerk who lived in Richmond Building, Soho, who kept a diary all his life and only the volume he kept as a 19-year-old still exists today. Even though the diary focuses on one year of his life, in 1846, the diary reveals quirky details about him you'd never work out from his headstone alone. From his love of public hangings, noting of public births and deaths, his cemetery visits, you can see why I like him, his epic 20 mile walks, as well as entries concerning his relationship with women. From his permanently ill mother to the giddy excitement he writes of his middle-aged girlfriend Anne Fox, where most of the entries are in shorthand, and with good reason. It's likely that he shared entries with others, although his teenage desires are still very much in place, such as this entry from Sunday the 9th of August, brace yourself. After tea, had Anne Fox up. After looking through prints, got her old tricks, in which I got a little further than ever by just catching a glimpse of the hairs covering her <laughs> She wore a new straw bonnet for the first time. Hope to get on better hereafter in matters of secrecy. Now, for those who kept historical diaries, did he ever consider that his diary would survive into the modern age and that I would be standing at his graveside a century after his death reading diary extracts from what he got up to as a 19-year-old? We don't know. Well, he became an accountant and lived in Islington. He then died in Mile End in his daughter's house and was buried here in 1911. As you can see, the headstone is knackered. You wouldn't actually know he was here, and in fact it was a couple of years ago in the Roots Chat Forum when Brysonites, fans of Nathaniel, actually tracked down his grave, and it was the, they were the first visitors here for some years. Now, even though he's several feet below, his diary still lives on online. Do read it, it is hilarious, it is funny, it is sad, it's downright weird in places. But it's well worth a read for an honest working class insight into early Victorian London.